Hi and welcome back. In this video on understanding how linear regression works, we'll see what is error minimization. We'll see an algorithm for error minimization called as gradient descent. And we'll understand gradient descent intuitively. In the previous video, we saw that we have an error function defined by j equals to sum of square of all the errors. Our task over the course of the training is to minimize this error. And the way we go about this is by changing the parameters using the minimization algorithm and then testing if my cost function is reducing or not. The minimization algorithm that we are using is called as gradient descent. Gradient descent is an optimization algorithm used to find the values of the parameters of a function f that minimizes a cost function j. In simple terms, we are using gradient descent to minimize the cost function and updates the parameter so that the cost function changes and hopefully minimizes. Now let's understand the intuition behind gradient descent. To do that, we'll use these two graphs. These two graphs are based on a code by Peter Rollins. Here, the first graph represents the cost function. And the second graph represents the data between the x and y and how my line is fitting on the data. From mathematics, we know that to get a slope at any point, we can take the derivative at that point. So we first take the slope at this point or the derivative at this point and then as we keep fitting the line we keep reducing the cost function or you can say that as we keep reducing the cost function my line gets a better fit and we reduce this cost function with the help of gradient descent we do this based on the equation x equals to x minus alpha which is something called as the learning rate into the derivative of the cost function. So let's say we take a derivative at this point. The derivative at that point will be negative. And we'll get x equals to x minus alpha, a positive value into, into negative slope. So we get a positive value of x and x moves in the forward direction. So at different points of the graph, we get different slopes. And since all the slope value on the left side of the minima is going to be a negative value, we keep increasing x till we reach this point. So x equals to x minus the learning rate into a negative value. If we had two variables instead of one, x and y, if we had two variables instead of one, let's say x and y, and the cost was given by z, we could have represented with the help of a contour plot, which is a plot in the form of a cross section of a 3D plot. So each of these circles over here represents a curve on the 3D plot. So you can imagine this as a bowl and this as a cross section of a bowl. And since the circles are becoming more constricted towards the center point, we can say that the depth of the bowl increases towards this point. And similarly, we move from this point to this point by taking the slope on the x axis as well as the y axis individually. To understand this in 3D, for two values x and y, this is what the bowl looks like. And if we start at a particular point, our objective is to move towards this minima. And we do this by taking the slope for the x axis and the y axis and then updating it simultaneously for x and y using the same equation x equals to x minus the learning rate 
into the slope at a given point x. For that, for y, it will be y equals to y minus alpha, the learning rate, into the slope at that point. In this video, we saw how linear regression works. In the next video, we'll use linear regression to predict salaries after college. So I'll see you in the next video.